My name is Michael Brooks, and I am from Idaho originally, and I lived in Seattle for about three years before living in Romania and then coming here. Um, I work in the utility shop down here at McMurdo Station, um, and I came because I wanted to see the end of the world. Um, it's my first season in Antarctica. And I would say the most amazing thing here is probably the light. Um, when there's not a lot of sun, uh, you get pretty dramatic sun shadows and shade. So I'm pretty excited for the southern lights this winter. Hey guys! Welcome back again. Christmas is finally over. We are now waiting for New Year's and a huge um, music festival we'll have here called Ice Stock. Mm -hmm. There will be plenty of pictures of that pretty soon. Um, people are getting ready and practicing. Bands are getting thrown together. Um, it should be a very fun time. So Michael's joined me. He's the first of hopefully a few actual people who work in McMurdo. Not scientists, mm -hmm. but people who help support us and make this town run, make science possible in Antarctica. So he's going to answer 10 of your questions now, too. Are you ready? Oh, I am. All right, the first one comes from Janae. She wants to um, know how many languages do you speak? Um, I speak English pretty well, but not perfect. <laughs> um, I speak Romanian um, and a little bit of Dutch. Why the Dutch? Um, my stepdad is Dutch, okay. so I've grown up with words here and there. And can you read Romanian as well? I can. Very impressive. Was that after the Peace Corps? Mm-hmm. Nice. Part of the program. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So say hello in Romanian. Uh, bună ziua, which means good day. Very nice. All right, the next question is from Evan. He wants to know, do you live in Antarctica all year long? Well, Evan, I will be this year because I signed on for a whole year contract. So uh, I got here in southern spring, mm -hmm. um, and I'm here all the way until next spring, which will be October 2010. So, long time. And right now there's about a thousand people on base, mm -hmm. and in the winter time, how many folks? Uh, there's about 200, so it'll be much smaller. It will. It's going to be nice. It's going it? to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question is from Mr. Douglas. He wants to know if you like chocolate and if you enjoy pumpkin. Um, I really <laughs> like chocolate, but only 70% cocoa or higher. Note to people who want to send care packages. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Um, I also like pumpkin. Uh, real pumpkins, preferably. None that come in a can. Yeah. We don't get those down here too often. But... Well, you know. It's okay. That's how it goes. You can always wish. You can't grow pumpkins in Antarctica. It's against the treaty. Yes. Darn. All right. We've got Mr. Shimmick, who's actually one of our substitute teachers. Okay. He was so excited to hear about me coming down here. So he yes, had 100,000 questions, but I just picked one from okay. Mr. Shimmick. He wants to know, um, what is it like to work outside, and what sort of factors do you have to deal with? Okay. Good question, Mr. Shimmick. Mm -hmm. um, what is it like to work outside? Yep. It's cold. Um, the key in Antarctica is layers, uh, as you can see behind us. I wear lots of different clothes because uh, you may be shoveling or ice picking ice for five hours, in which case you'll be really hot, and more than two layers is not great. Mm -hmm. um, the key that they teach us here is not to wear cotton base layers, because yep. they collect sweat and hold it against your skin. Really boring stuff, I know, but... No, all the kids who have been backpacking with me should know that cotton is rotten. See? Cotton is rotten, kids. Don't forget it. Yep. Okay. All right, next question is Nick... My dear friend Nick actually has three. Hi, Nick. Nick's great. They're all great. You guys are all great. All three Nicks are great. <laughs> Nick wants to know, how many years have you wanted to come to Antarctica? Um, this was actually the fourth year that I've applied to the program. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, a lot of people get in on their first try, um, and a lot of people wait seven or eight years. So it just depends on your luck and who you know, and um, I think it was a good time for me to come down. Yep. Right after Peace Corps? Yeah, yeah. Post-Peace Corps, um, I feel like the adventure is a little more real after something like that yeah. than being so green and fresh that I would have been like a beaker on their first week here. <clears throat> Beakers are scientists, uh -huh. by the way. <laughs> and townies are people like me. Yeah. Beakers normally 
We walk around for a while, having absolutely no clue where we're going, what we're doing. We look it's a little really goofy. Cute. It's really cute. <laughs> we try hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> next, next question. Would you come back to Antarctica? Yes. Um, I'm trying really hard to get on for summer season next year so that I can do summers again. Because once you do a year, they make you leave for a year normally. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Um, the NSF is worried that we might go a little crazy. Which people have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. You wouldn't, of course. Of course not. Of course not. Next, next question. If you could go one other place in the world, where would it be and why? Ooh. Who's this from? Nick. Nick? Mm -hmm. All right, Nick. Uh, I would have to say, right now, probably somewhere warm. Um, that doesn't narrow it down a lot. No, not at all. But uh, I definitely have a piece of my heart in Istanbul, so I've been dreaming of going there for a while. Very nice. Mm -hmm. That would work. We have got Anna. She wants to know, do you miss normal seasons while you're down here in Antarctica? Um, Anna, we have seasons too. They're not normal though, Anna. But they're not normal. She's right. Uh, well, yes, I miss the rain. So we get what's called R&R &R for rest and relaxation. When you sign on for a year, they send you to Christchurch for a week. And I'm really hoping that it will rain while I'm in Christchurch. So did you guys hear that? So he's down here for an entire year. And he gets one week of vacation in that mm -hmm. whole year. And he only gets one day off every week, too. But it's okay. It's totally worth it. It's just a lot of hard work. Well, so end of January, you guys, we're all going to have to start doing the rain dance. Mm -hmm. So Mike will have some rain when he gets to Christchurch. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. It'll be waiting for you. Cameron wants to know, um, do you know anybody who has received or gotten hypothermia? I do not, but um, it's kind of one of those places where everybody knows somebody who knows somebody. So it's pretty common, um, and it's more common on the summer months than you would expect because people don't realize that you can still get hypothermia in warm weather. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. They wear their rotten cotton. They wear their rotten cotton and not enough layers, and their fingers are exposed all day working. and Bad stuff. Don't do it. No. Nope. Last question comes from Haley. She wants to know what's your favorite kind of animal. Well, since we only have about six or seven animals here, <laughs> um, I'm actually going to say most people like the emperor penguins, but I prefer the Adelis, because they kind of look like... Um, Middle school students. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. a good comparison, mm -hmm. who also happen to look like the little rabbit in Alice in Wonderland, who are always late for a date. Yes, perfect. Yeah. They're always in a hurry somewhere, so don't look like Adelis. Just, you know, take your time. They are great, you guys. Hopefully I'll get some video of them. They run all over the place. And she will, because she gets to leave town a lot. Hopefully. Keep your fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, what about your favorite animal outside of Antarctica? Um, you know, I am more of a people person, so other than dogs, I really like people. I think people are my favorite animals. They're good animals. Alright. I know, it's not yeah. as exciting, but they are. All right, kids, thank you again. That it? That's it. You, okay. hold on. We all know that they're on vacation right now, but they are oh. going to be following along. All right. Yep. So, so when you get back. You'll be seeing this video, or you can watch it at home. Mm -hmm. I have a little under two weeks left on the ice. It's getting sad. Um, so a few more videos to come, a few more journals, mm -hmm. and then you guys will see me back in the real world here end of January. Take care of her for yeah. me. Thanks, kids. See you later. Bye. Bye.